A look outside this morning in South City as the flags are at half staff to honor the officer who died in the line of duty yesterday. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for waking up with us. It is Monday, June 24th. We're following the developments coming out of the death of that North County police officer. He was shot and killed at a Wellston grocery store. We have team coverage. Our Abby Larico is at the St. Louis Police Officers Association as the support is pouring in from other departments. And our Ryan Henson is live at Barnes Jewish Hospital. He kicks off our coverage to break down how this all happened. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. Yes, Officer Langsdorf was responding to a call about a bad check, and just a couple minutes later, he was tragically shot. Here's video yesterday from 4.30 yesterday afternoon outside of Wellston Food Market on the corner of Page and Stephen Jones Avenues. After the officer was shot, he was rushed here to Barnes Jewish Hospital, where he ended up tragically dying from his injuries. The suspect is in, behind, is in custody right now. Police found a weapon at the scene as well. Langsdorf joined North County Cooperative in April, and we've been mentioning the term North County Police Cooperative, which is separate from St. Louis County Police Department. The cooperative serves as municipalities including Wellston, Delwood, and Pine Long, among others. The police, off, the police force is made up of 70 officers and civilian personnel. And, uh, and that department and officer, officer, that officer's family is being support, has an outpouring of support from the community and throughout the region. There's an effort right now to have a law enforcement officer at his side until his funeral. Abby Lurico has much, much more on the community support. Abby? Hey, good morning, Ryan. So this dreary, rainy kind of morning, seems to match the mood here for a lot of police departments and those in mourning like right here in front of the Police Officers Association where they have these flags lowered down to half staff in honor of Officer Michael Langsdorf. Now here's what we know about him right now. He was 40 years old, a police officer for more than 17 years. He leaves behind two children, his fiance, and we're told enormous amounts of friends and family. Now Backstoppers has begun their assistance of that family. Here's what other departments are sharing this morning. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office shared this image of a cross with the blue line in it, offering prayers for Officer Langsdorf's family and the whole law enforcement community. Now in St. Louis County, the last area department to lose an officer on the job posted, we share your pain. And in Arnold, they shared an image that they say is from 2003 when Langsdorf was a city officer, showing him comforting a little girl after she had to escape a house fire. They say that image shows you what you need to know about the type of police officer that he was. Now again, a lot of people posting their thoughts, their prayers, their support, and honor of this police officer. We'll share more of that reaction coming up at 630. For now, I'll send it back to the studio. Such a tragic story. Thanks, Abby. Of course, we'll continue to be on top of this story. You can watch the police press conference live at 11 o'clock on our air, on our website, KSDK.com, or on our Facebook page.